Welcome back everyone. Tonight we got a late night project going on. Uh, we have retorn apart the head on the welding rig. Um, yeah, we're, uh, we're, we're kind of taking a step back. We've already done things twice now, but we're putting head studs in this truck. We've got head studs here. Um, these are ARP. They're just the, they're not the big boys. They're 425s or the 2000s or whatever the heck you call them. But we got head studs going in. When I realized that I needed injectors, I went ahead and kind of ordered them and they weren't here you know, in time for everything to go together, obviously, because um, I was thinking maybe I had a few days to do it, but I needed to get it done ASAP. So anyway, I ordered these from, uh, you guys watch Greg A, you know uh, Mikey, Mikey G, that's who I ordered these from. Um, but yeah, check, you, you guys, if you follow Greg A, you know who I'm talking about. But anyhow, uh, big thanks to Mikey G for getting them shipped out ASAP down here to me. Um, but anyhow, so I don't remember if I said this or not yet, um, but this truck is completely stock truck, meaning it has never had a tuner on it. Um, the only thing that's been done is it has a different intake horn on it, uh, grid here to delete, cold air intake, and five inch exhaust. That's all that's ever been done. This truck has got 290,000 miles on it. Um, but I've always wanted to put head studs in here for the added um, peace of mind you know on the truck as far as that goes yes haven't had an issue yet but I don't want to take any chances and this is kind of a cheap protection and, and you know um, for the long run so anyhow we're putting head studs in it tonight and we're gonna do them uh, one at a time we're gonna take one out I'm gonna, I'm gonna use a shot vac make sure the hole is clean put it in there we're gonna torque it the first time um, they're the factory ones originally like or uh, I think around 100 foot pounds so we're gonna take Take them out one at a time, torque it back to 100 foot pounds, and then do another torque of 125. That's what the that's what the torque sequence is on here. So right there, you got 40, 80, 125. But since we are doing one at a time, we're gonna go like I said, the it's close to 100, I think, um, on the factory one. So we're gonna go to 100, and then go back and do 125 all around, and then we're gonna let it sit for just a little bit, and then uh, come back and retorque them. Just check them all again, 125. Also, I bought a sweet tool that uh, I kind of splurged on, I guess. Um, meaning, I normally wouldn't buy this, but I kind of wanted a good torque wrench. So, yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, I went ahead and did it. Um, buddy of mine, he picked this up for me. Got it off the tool truck for me. Um, but yeah, snap on, click style. Uh, what is it? 50 to 250 foot pounds, I think. If you can read that, yeah, 50 to 2 foot, 50 to 250. But yeah, I've been uh, needing a good half inch drive for a while now, so I sport got 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 a good one. So anyhow, we're gonna use this bad boy, torque them down. But yeah, so there's not a lot to it. Like I said, you gotta you do have to remove as far as this goes as the rocker bridges. Um, it'd be better to have the to would have had the injectors gone it'd be a little bit a little easier to torque them down um may have to use an extension here once in a while to get them torqued properly but um it is what it is so anyway uh number one is somewhere i don't know if it's this one or this one i think it's i don't know but anyway we start in the middle and then you basically you know you just come it's more it's like a circular pattern if you will um start in the center and just keep working your way out as you go so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna start with that I guess you can kind of see, I guess if I could show you, so yeah, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, so just kind of start there, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, you just kind of keep going around and around until you get done. Um, there are five longer ones, it says here, uh, nope, the six and five eighths long studs installed on the exhaust manifold side of the cylinder. So all these on the outside here are these longer ones. Right here, I already separate them out. Slightly longer, as you can see. Slightly longer, those go on the outside. So let's get started one at a time, and we'll catch up where we need to catch up if we need to. Uh, but more or less, just enjoy me working really, really fast. Let's get started. Also, don't forget your lube. And uh, have some more here if we run out of this.
So, they're all in. All of them. Um, originally, I thought, yeah, I can get it without taking the uh, the intake horn off, but it makes it so much easier just to take that off, get that out of the way. And then it's pretty easy to torque them all. Um, I didn't have to put an extension on. I just was able to use just a, uh, what do you call this? Uh, I was just able to use a deep well. So, that all worked out good. There's all the ones taken out. But yeah, I just torqued them all to 125. Um, I'm gonna give them probably about, I don't know, just maybe like 20, 30 minutes, just, just for them to kinda settle, if you will, just for them to, to settle down, and then I'll go back, just uh, you know, recheck them one time at 125, and they'll be good to go. Um, I'm not gonna hot torque them. Um, I, I don't know, like I don't understand completely uh, hot torque, but from what I was told, there's really no need, so it is what it is. So it's going to be that, uh, but in the meantime, we do have to notch out for that bolt in the very back, or the stud I should say, we would have to notch out for that on the uh, part of the cover. We're just going to use a little carbide tool to uh, hog it out so that way the thing will sit over top of the bolt. And we should be good then. So, yeah, we're gonna work on that. That one there, it has to be right here on the little case or whatever. We gotta hog this out so that way it doesn't interfere with the top of the stud. So like I said, we're gonna take a little carbide tool and just hog that out, uh, cause I don't have a milling machine. I could, you know, kinda chuck it up in the lathe, put an end mill in the lathe and figure something out, but I'm not gonna worry about that. I just, you know, all I need to do is just hog it out. So, gonna get to work on that, and once we do that, we retorque the head one more time, and we can go ahead and start putting everything back together. Okay, so head bolts are torqued again. We got the rocker uh, assemblies back on, torqued as well. So everything is just going back together now. Um, we had the wife; she's been helping us out tonight. So I haven't checked the fit yet, but I I think it'll be fine. Um, I could have taken a little more there, but my burr tool isn't the best, so. Anyhow, uh, I'm going to check this, see if it'll fit on there, make sure it's going to fit down nice and snug. Um, I think it'll be good. I need to climb back there and check it, but anyhow, you guys saw that. Uh, now we just got to put this on, put the uh, wire harness for the injectors on, and then intake back on, starter up, make sure there's nothing... Out of the out of the norm, and uh, this project will be done. Okay, so we're back to where we started, and I'm gonna give it a test fire. Just fire it real quick, make sure uh, everything is good. And then we'll put the cover back on and call this video done. So that is going to do it for this video everyone. Um, once again, I want to say thank you to each and every one of you. We hit 10,000 subs. Uh, actually we're over like 11,000 right now. So 
I just want to say thanks. Uh, thanks to each and every one of you. That's awesome. I mean, honestly, uh, I've said it before, but I never really thought this channel, I don't know. I just, it, it was, it was all for me, meaning I wanted to, to document stuff that I do on a daily basis. And if somebody else can, can learn from it, awesome. If not, you know, who cares? But I just want to say thanks to every one of you guys. Um, appreciate everyone watching and we're gonna get rolling on this thing soon um the second gen i want to get get back to it real soon um but first things first tomorrow uh, i have a little bit of time to work and i'm gonna get try to get a lot of this mess cleaned up um uh, with the help of the missus and just get cleaned up so we can start fresh uh but the next thing that we're gonna do with that truck is pull the cab off so that we can finish up uh fabrication on the suspension and everything on that truck so thanks for watching everyone um we have another truck to do head studs on here soon i have i've had those laying around uh they're the more pricey ones and we might do that soon so i don't know but anyhow guys thanks for watching and we will see you on the next one thanks guys